Now we'll discuss regarding urge incontinence. It is the second most common cause of urinary incontinence in adult females. So, urge incontinence due to detrusive overactivity is the second most common cause of urinary incontinence in adult female amongst the elderly women it is the most common cause of urinary incontinence it is the most common cause of urinary incontinence definition it is defined as the um, detrusive overactivity spontaneous detrusive contraction during the bladder filling phase is it that may be either spontaneous or when provoked it is defined as the contraction of the detrusor during the bladder filling phase and the contraction may be spontaneous or provoked so now we'll see what are the causative factors causative factors are idiopathic psychosomatic following surgery for incontinence detrusor hyperreflexia that is neurogenic problems like multiple sclerosis spinal injuries stroke diabetic neuropathy or parkinson's disease so these are the causative factors now we'll see the symptoms what are the symptoms in urge incontinence urgency frequency nocturia and bedwetting urgency frequency nocturia and bedwetting these are the symptoms of 
Now, what are the investigations needed to diagnose urge incontinence? First of all, any incontinent patient needs to maintain a urinary diary as I have discussed in stress incontinence. Then, a detailed neurological examination needs to be done to see the pelvic muscle tone, pineal sensation, bulbocavernous reflex so that the S2, S3, S4 integrity needs to be assessed. So, a detailed neurological examination done to rule out any neurogenic problems by seeing the pineal sensation pelvic floor muscle tone and bulbo cavernous reflex reflex s2 s s3 and s4 integrity is checked so now a uh, a midstream urinary culture sensitivity needs to be sent mid stream urine culture sensitivity as Cystitis is one of the common causes of frequency, increased frequency of urine. So, midstream urine culture sensitivity is done. Uroflometry. then a systometry in systometry uh, you will see the two directorial pressure, uh, pressure is more than 15 centimeter of the water during the bladder filling phase with 200 ml true detrusor pressure is more than 15 centimeter of water during the bladder filling phase bladder filling with 200 ml and the urge to pass urine is felt at is felt much earlier that is urge is felt at 100 to 175 ml So, 6. Cysto urethroscopy is done to rule out any local pathology. Urethroscopy is done to rule out any local pathology. And avoiding cysto urethrogram is done to to see the bladder trabeculation, diverticuli, or any vesicouretric reflux. Then to see the bladder trabeculation, diverticular formation, or any vesicouretric reflux. So these are the investigations which are done. Now, how will you manage a patient with an urge incontinence management? So, first there is general management. In general management, we have to uh, ensure the psychotherapy of the patient. And if any medical illness is present like diabetes, mellitus or any neurological condition, then that also needs to be managed. Psychotherapy and management of 
डायबिटीज और एनी न्यूरोलॉजिकल कंडीशन सो दिस इज द जनरल मैनेजमेंट नाउ नेक्स्ट इज द बिहेवियरल थेरेपी इन विच द फ्लूड इंटेक शुड बी रेस्ट्रिक्टेड टू वन लीटर पर डे एंड द अमाउंट ऑफ टी एंड कैफीन शुड ऑल्सो बी डिक्रीज फ्लूड इंटेक फ्लूड इंटेक नीड्स टू बी रेस्ट्रिक्टेड टू वन लीटर पर डे डिक्रीज इन टेक ऑफ टी एंड कॉफी ड्रग्स लाइक डायरेटिक्स इफ दे आर गोइंग ऑन दे नीड टू बी स्टॉप इफ पॉसिबल ड्रग्स लाइक डायरेटिक्स स्टॉप इफ possible pfm pfmt that is pelvic floor muscle training i have already discussed kegels exercise this also needs to be done and bladder retraining retraining of the bladder so these are the behavioral therapy now let's see what are the drugs which can be used now among the drugs we can use anti muscarinic drugs like oxybutynin doltrudin diphenacin solifenacin but they come with certain side effects so anti muscarinic drugs like oxy butynin tortrudin darifenacin and solifenacin all these have side effects like dry mouth dry skin constipation blurred vision dry mouth dry skin constipation blurred vision and these drugs are contra indicated in certain conditions like glaucoma myasthenia gravis glaucoma myasthenia gravis ulcerative colitis intestinal obstruction or urinary retention so there is another drug that is a tricyclic which is also a tricyclic antidepressant which is imipramine Imipramine can be used in both stress incontinence and urge incontinence. Imipramine hydrochloride. The side effect of this drug is sedation, constipation, and blurred vision.
and it is contraindicated in hypertension and coronary artery diseases. Okay. Now we can also use drugs like synthetic antidiuretic hormonal analog that is the DDAVP synthetic hormonal analog that is DDAVP but the side effects are it causes fluid retention hyponatremia rhinitis nausea so the side effects are fluid retention as fluid retention the side effects so it is contraindicated in conditions of cardiac insufficiency cardiac insufficiency so side effects of fluid retention hyponatremia rhinitis and nausea okay so these are the drugs which can be used for urge incontinence there are certain drugs like tross Pium chloride can also be used and botulinum toxin can also be used. Okay, now the surgeries surgeries which can be done in a case of urge incontinence is denervation augmentation cystoplasty denervation and augmentation cystoplasty and urinary diversion Okay, so this was all about your urge incontinence. Now, mixed incontinence. In mixed incontinence, it is a type of incontinence which has both the components of stress urinary incontinence and also urge incontinence. So, it also has SUI as well as urge incontinence. So as we have seen the management of SUI is mostly surgical and urge incontinence is mostly medical. So before going for any surgery, if there is a mixed incontinence, urge incontinence needs to be treated first. Needs to be treated first. And then if the, after treating the urge incontinence, if the symptoms persist, then only you need to undergo a surgical correction for SUI. If symptoms persist, then surgical correction needed for stress urinary incontinence so this was all about urinary incontinence